Hey guys, it's True here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I have found to be the best whitetail spot on Red Feather Falls. And right now, I have a non typical whitetail in front of me on the first hunt of doing this video. And already, I put a bad shot into it. I think it's a body shot. Went right through the shoulder blade. And I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for it to go bleed out. I don't want to push it. Otherwise, I'm going to be tracking it for a long time. So I'm kind of just chilling here in the tower. But in the meanwhile, I guess we can wait for other animals to show up. I did a little bit of calling to see if anything else would show up. I think a couple whitetails, small bucks, and a couple moose came by, but nothing too big. So I decided to get out and start tracking. Alright, so I started tracking this whitetail and I got to the blood and of course it was body. So already I knew I was going to be tracking it a while. I knew it was going to die, but I didn't know where it was so I just kept following the tracks. So I, got, I caught up to his last blood trail and it said it was roaming. So based on the hunter mate, it, he should be within the circle there somewhere. So I kind of, I kind of got more cautious with what I was doing, and I pulled out my muzzle loader. So if he was walking around, I was just going to shoot him with the muzzle loader. So I'm kind of just inching my way through right here, because I think he is like right in front of me, a little ways. So I start crawling. But eventually I found out that he was actually, he had fleed again, so I started walking down the beach a little ways and I found this track. This track said fleeing, so I was getting kind of discouraged that he wasn't going to die. So I just kept following it a little ways. At this point, I'm thinking, well, this thing's not dead. And I'm kind of just going to follow it around and gonna be like a game of cat and mouse until right now I've seen the, uh, the track from a pretty good distance away and usually that means they're dead they'll light up from a good distance away so I was pretty proud that I found him it's pretty crazy that the first hunt of doing this video gave me a non-typical whitetail and he scores 242 not a bad non-typical whitetail not a monster, but pretty average. So, let's get this trophy shot lined up here. I'm going to make it good because I'm going to use this for my thumbnail. Um, let's, see, let's do him like that. Yeah. yeah great. Put the water in the mountain in the background. Let's see. I need to equip my bow. That should work. Yeah, that looks good. That's a nice trophy shot. Get my hand lined up here properly. Alright. Not a bad non typical white tail. You guys are wondering where I am at currently on the map and where my tent is at. Um, I put a map up with an X. It's next to Tower 2, just west of the Trapper's Rest Lodge. I put a tent there because I started the lodge and it only cost one camping supply to fast travel to that tent. And when you do, the animals spawn in faster. So I would just do that. It's not It's not very expensive to do. And also... If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. A decent number of you aren't subscribed to the channel. I love doing these guides for you. Please comment down below what guide you'd like me to do next. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.